I don't know if it's like a, a, a stranger or it's the top. Baby. 2020 is going to be the biggest year this channel has ever seen. I've not been... <coughs> I've not been to school in 13 days and approximately 14 hours. Because, you know what's funny? Let me tell you what's funny. Your teachers, they don't care if you get better. They don't care if you get worse. They just, they just want you to get the work done. I had probably five teachers email me this week saying, hey, just remember when you get back, you got a test. You're funny. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Johnny Fisherman 14. And it's getting tougher. Not going to lie. And it's... Anybody else want to drive by? Now, you guys did see the music video drop because, you know, Patience is key. It's the key! And hopefully you enjoyed that music video. You know, it'll be linked down in the description and you'll have the suggestion bar right above my head. Go and tell you to watch it. So when the video ends, make sure to check it out if you have not already. So, getting to the topic of this video, when I first bought the Mighty Mike and Ike, it had a lot of weird things in it, but there are also a lot of things which we need to check out, including the fire extinguisher. There's a lot of other stuff in here, which I just no clue why the heck it's in there, but we're going to check it out. And yeah, you guys want to know how you wash your windshield when you don't got, <laughs> when you're broke? First, you're going to want to turn the car on. Yeah, a girl. Then what you want to do is you want to engage the windshield wipers. Nope, oh, that's the turn signal. Engage the windshield wipers. There we go. Then you're going to get your handy dandy bottle of water. And you're going to do like this. And a girl. There, that's all she wrote. Alrighty, take a gander, folks. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just broken. Uh, it says it is empty, but I think it works, man. We just got to pull the pin. Alrighty, so we just took the fire extinguisher out from my car. Now, take note, this car was built in 1987. Which means that, let's see, 2020 minus 1987. Yeah, I'm too lazy. So you guys, comment down below how many years y'all think it is. See, there's a little hole for the pin right here. But. So, squeeze lever. <coughs> Dying. Squeeze lever and stand back six feet. Okay, gotta get in the proper stance. Let me widen the shot for you guys. Widen the stance. Get ready. Stand back. Oh, shoot! Woo! What a kick. Absolutely nothing came out of it. Look. I think it's broken. So, Take note, never use a fire extinguisher that's probably like 50, 30, 40 something years old. All right, so the fire extinguisher, just talking to my dad, it's actually not empty. And I knew it wasn't empty for a while because I flip and pick this thing up like 80 times waiting for the day when I'd make this dang video. If you actually hold it upside down and you, can you guys see that? That's, a, it's, it's full. 12 seconds later. <laughs> now that we are done with the fire extinguisher, let's go ahead and let's search more of the truck. I know that there's a lot of 
seeker compartments in this truck when I first bought it. Just never really took the time to explore it. I was really busy with the engine, but that's a fire extinguisher for now. But yeah, let's go and let's flip and explore the rest of this thing, man. On this side of the car, there's this little compartment under here. And would you look at that? It says, follow jacking instructions. Um, so what I'm guessing is there's like a jack under there. So let's go ahead and let's open this little compartment. Oh, okay. Alrighty, so. Oh, shoot. This was under here the whole time? It's definitely stuck to something. There's this. Oh, it's everywhere. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so pay attention. There's this tiny little hole at the bottom of this awesome sauce right here. And I decided to pull the pin. What happens when you pull the pin? Yeah, all nastiness breaks loose. Remember how not even like 10 seconds ago? I read you the instructions that were in a different language and it said provided for you on the RAM to prevent the jack from possible malfunction. <sighs> well, it malfunctioned. You see, I flip and seized it up. I talked to Papa Mechanic over there, the good old humdinger. It seized up. It's done. It's toast. Goodbye. Alrighty, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. The little red box down below. Guys, we are at 886 subscribers. So close to 900, and then it's all the way... What up there, Buck? 100 away from... A thousand if we can hit the 900 mark guys thank you so much for watching this video and all the support on this channel if you enjoyed this video please comment down below what other stuff you would like to see me do with the car alrighty here is your motivational quote for the day always remember to be captivated by purpose remember guys that we will always have our chance if we work for a purpose guys thank you so much for all you guys do have an incredible rest of your day god is good and as always god fish and family and i will see you in the next episode Hashtag blessed. Peace. Yeah. Remember who you are, not the mistakes of what you did. Cause we're not always gonna be tiny little kids. Think of what brought you here and what's on the inside. Cause so many decide to follow all these little tiny lies.